here at the Beaverton Town Square with much more on the food drive. How's it going out there? Yes, that's right. Yep, we're at the Fred Meyer just off of Highway 217. We kind of moved locations. We're following our trusty blue barrels around, and it really smells like spring over here. We're by the Easter lilies, which smells great. Uh, may not have felt like spring too much out there. It's been so unseasonably cold. We'll talk about the weather, though, in just a minute. Let's talk about our food drive, uh, partnering with Fred Meyer and the Sunshine Division. And my friend Natasha Lesh is here uh, to talk a little bit more about it. We just saw someone drop some stuff off. Some good. So this is good. You, you've you not tried this suddenly pasta salad. No, it looks amazing. It's though. really good. Yeah, so mixes like this are awesome uh, because they're quick for families to kind of whip up uh, an easy dinner. Uh, but let's talk about how this stuff gets distributed. So if people are helping out, they're donating food in these barrels, how does it get to families in need? So Sunshine Division has two pantries that people can access, one on North Thompson and one in Southeast Stark. And then also uh, w within one week of the pandemic, we started our emergency home food delivery program where we're delivering directly to people's doorsteps uh, these really nutritious food boxes. And then lastly, we partner with about 100 local partner agencies in order to distribute our food boxes to the members of our community. That's fantastic. And I know Sunshine Division does a lot more. Tell us a little bit more about uh, who you guys are. Exactly. So we have uh, existed since 1923. We've been providing free emergency food and clothing to Portlanders in need. Um, since the pandemic, we've seen such an uptick in the number of people who have needed our services. So uh, since April 2020, we've served more than 7.5 million meals to nearly 300,000 households. So really really remarkable and currently we're serving about four times as many families as we did prior to the pandemic. Wow. Yeah, huge need out there. Mm -hmm. Natasha, thank you so much. Again, you have until April 22nd if you want to contribute to the food drive efforts here. Okay, let's talk about our weather. Let's talk through our forecast for tomorrow. It was a mostly dry day out there today. I think that's going to be the case for us, at least here in the valleys, but not along the coast. We're talking about scattered showers um, out there along the coast and temperatures in the upper 50 or the upper 40s, excuse me, to about 50 degrees. Uh, here in the valleys, again, a mostly dry day, could see a morning shower and then uh, lots of sunshine in the afternoon, temperatures in the 50s for us here. In the Columbia Gorge, a morning shower chance on the west end, sunnier on the east end and temperatures in the low to mid 50s. Up on the mountain could squeak out maybe another inch or two of snow. It's gonna be real scattered snow showers out there mixed with the sunshine, 38 is your high temperature at government camp and in eastern Oregon looking like uh, some morning snow showers in the northeastern corner of the state otherwise a mostly sunny day and temperatures in the 40s your seven day forecast for the metro area looks like this so a mainly dry day Friday mid 50s will bring back those cooler showers on Saturday also chance of a thunderstorm there Sunday Easter Sunday great day lots of sunshine dry low 60s and then we're kind of back into this wet showery pattern as we start the next work week but Bonnie temperatures should be starting to look a little bit more normal. We're in the low 60s there for Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah, okay, getting back into the swing of things. Sounds good, Camilla, thank you. Well, in the market for a car, but wondering if you'll choose